Team Community Day at Dodger Stadium. How often do you have it? Well, I'm proud to say this is our 18th Jewish Community Night in a row. Uh, so it's a great event that we have every year. Where does Jewish community, uh, where does where does the Jewish community fit into uh, the, the Dodger marketing? You know. Los Angeles Dodgers, we want to try to establish programs that speak to every niche in this very diverse Los Angeles community. Right. We want to give everyone a reason to come out to the stadium, so this is one of many right. initiatives that we have uh, and that we'll continue to do every year. You guys haven't had glot kosher food before. This is the first full year we've had glot kosher food. What uh, impact has having glot kosher had? on a people's perception and then the choose participation being able to come to the game. Sure, you know, it's something our fans have asked for for a very, very long time. I might, might as well add, not only Jewish fans, all fans alike have, have uh, asked for that. And we're really proud to say, as you mentioned, this is our first full year doing it. It's every Sunday to Thursday, minus Jewish holidays. So it's something that's been great. And we always look for feedback from our fans and try to make the entire experience of Dodger Stadium better. Right. This is just one more thing uh, that we continue to push and, and make Dodger Stadium a place for everybody. Uh, Stan Kasten, being Jewish, great source of pride for the Jewish community. Andrew Friedman, this, this week. Uh, really cool. David Siegel. And David Siegel. Yeah. <laughs> You're the token, so yes. I guess, what you <laughs> um, <laughs> What do the Dodgers mean, you think, to the Jewish community? What's the, I'm sorry. What, yeah, wait, what's the significance of the Dodgers to the Jewish community uh, historically and today? Well, I mean, I think, you know, always been a fabric. Obviously, Sandy Koufax, great story with him sitting out World Series games. So I think it's synonymous with the Jewish community, uh, the Dodgers, and we'll continue to be that moving forward. Okay. For what makes it a Jewish community day other than a, a day for uh, group sales to the Jewish community? Well, I mean, the main thing, obviously, we want to pay tribute to the Jewish community. So our pregame, obviously, the T-shirt, which uh, we Hebrew don't have in front of us, but right. the very cool T-shirt. And then actually, in past years, we've done a yarmulke. So we can continue to try to push the envelope and try to, again, pay tribute to the Jewish community. You'll see some in-game activation and stuff like that. But really, we just want to make sure that one of our 81 games really, again, uh, pays homage to the great Jewish community in Los Angeles area. Will there be any Israeli flags or hot tikva or? Uh, not that I'm aware of today. In past years, we have had that. Every year is just a little different based on the other things we have going on, but uh, always looking to incorporate that. Yeah. Is it true that the players are going to avoid stealing bases in keeping with the Ten Commandments? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot speak for our players and their keeping of the Ten Commandments, but I'm sure uh, hopefully we, we will have some Dodger stolen bases today. Ah, right on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, by the way, one last thing. Yeah. Um, how did this game in particular... Should we... Get to work. Get to work. Get to work. This way. This way. Well, this way. Well, this way. You can come here, sorry. Who is that guy, by the way? Who is that masked man? He's our uh, executive vice president, chief marketing officer, Lon Rosen. Yeah. Okay. Um, was it from? Oh my God. So how did this game, being that uh, New York is the most populated, most Jewish populous uh, city, uh, and there are a lot of Jewish uh, New Yorker transplants in Los Angeles a long time, uh, wouldn't it have made more sense to have a New York game? Uh, well, actually, we did look at that, and obviously Chicago is the third biggest market, so not a bad Jewish community there. But also, we played the Mets early in the year when kids were still in school, and it was in the middle of the week. So we decided to choose another very popular team, the Cubs, on a weekend. Obviously, we kind of attract the most people, so we did look at that. Uh-huh. It's also kind of late in the season. Is there a reason it was taken so late in the season? Uh, again, we just looked at a, a key weekend game announced. Right. Late in the season is usually better because of the pennant race. pennant race. As exciting as these two teams are, right. I think we get more uh, impact having it later in the season than the beginning of the season. There you have it from Dodger Stadium. This is Scott Jacobs reporting for Jutu.